Okay, so the first thing that we need is the original Dungeon Keeper files. As far as I'm aware, we have four options kind of readily available to us. Uh, first option would be GOG.com. Uh, you can buy a copy of Dungeon Keeper here. Second option would be EA Origins. You can also buy Dungeon Keeper from them if you like. Uh, quite similar in price. You could also check for a copy of the CD. Uh, if you have a physical CD drive, uh, you can get Dungeon Keeper files from there. Or you can also download a torrent, which I won't recommend. Um, so once you have that, install the file somewhere on your PC. Uh, here I have a GOG version, so I've got Dungeon Keeper Gold here. And this is essentially as far as, as we need to go. After this, you want to install KeeperFX. So we go to KeeperClan.com, uh, which is a forum. And we have uh, at, the, at the top, uh, KeeperFX. And then as of making this, uh, we can go, the, go to the 0.4.9 version. Uh, this has one click build, which is what we want. Download the file. Okay, so we have a 7z file type, so we need to extract that in some way. I'm using uh, WinRAR. Extract the whole lot to a, a folder. Separate from your... Separate from your Dungeon Keeper folder. Okay, once you have that, uh, once you have that, what you want to do is click on this link. This will take us to uh, the versions of 0.4.9. What you want to find is the latest version, which as of right now is the 14th of March. Click on that and open the file. And you want to extract this to our KeepItFX folder. and you want to overwrite everything. Okay. Uh, next, what we want to do is we want to install KeeperFX fully. So you want to go to, onto, into your folder, launcher, and game files that should have to be copied from original DK are not present. So what we want to do is installation. Select Keeper folder with original Dungeon Keeper files. So locate where you installed your original Dungeon Keeper. So in this case, Dungeon Keeper Gold. Yes. And it's now installed. So there's a few things that we want to do before uh, playing. We're going to go on to, we want some music. So what we can do is Go on to command line options. I'll post a link to this uh, below. And you want to check out this for no CD. So we want to install the game music. So we can click on this link. And this takes us to a download page for KeeperFX music. Click on download. And then you want to extract this to our KeeperFX folder. Okay, once you've done that, we saw that there is a command line option for no CD. So you want to go to run options and add in no CD. Maybe you could also uh, click on this checkbox here. Uh, the rest of the other options uh, we're not too worried about at the moment. If you do have some issues with KeeperFX, you can go to uh, look at the SDL video driver and perhaps force driver on DirectX or WinDib. I'm not the most technical person in the world, so I don't really know too much about that.
Uh, next, you want to check settings and set the resolution to what's appropriate for your system. Uh, I'm currently at uh, 1920 by 1080. So uh, this is fine for me, uh, but menu resolution, movies and failure, I'll change that to, uh, although I'll, I'll, I'll keep that movies like that uh, for right now. I think that works works better. Screen control, I do like this in window mode. Uh, English, censorship, and uh, I'll go through resize movies. None of the rest of this, I, I don't really like too much. Atmospheric sounds and screenshots, I don't really care much about. So we'll save that and let's hop into the game, check that it works. Well, I worked a bit. Uh, my music is a bit loud, so let's try and change that. My sound, sorry. Okay, so if you go on to any level that you want, uh, let's check things out. So uh, here you can use the mouse wheel to scroll, uh, just better than the original game. Music works fine. So let's make a, make some rooms. Uh, so what we can do is you could dig norm manually or you can hold control and make a 5x5 five five box. You can use the mouse wheel to make it larger or smaller or you can hold shift and drag with the mouse to make a room like that like so this is a bit dark so we can go to the options menu and click on gamma correction uh, hopefully that shows up a bit better uh, let's check this with the rooms then so what you can do is hold shift to uh, smart detect and smart build rooms. Uh, so for example, it's not going to do anything here because that's not really an efficient room. But as the imp claims more land, uh, it'll correct into a larger and larger room. There we go. And we can also hold control and that gives us the same box that we saw earlier. And as before, we can use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the size. Okay, let's have a look and see how we can install some maps and campaigns. Uh, you might have seen that on the Keeping effects version I use, I have uh, some extra maps and campaigns that aren't present in a fresh copy of Keeper FX. So what you can do is, there's a few resources available, but what I like is the wiki.keeperclan.com. And here on the left panels here, we can go to DK1 Maps. And we've got quite a few levels here. So for example, if we were going to the complete list, uh, Let's say that I want to pick one, which is the lava hole. I can download that. Open file, open, and we can extract that to uh, our levels folder in QRFX. There are different uh, folders here. Um, standard is generally the folder I tend to use that has the latest keep it effects rules. Uh, let's see if that works. So looking for the lava hole. And there we go.
uh, we can also install a whole campaign. Uh, for ex so for that, we can go back to the Keeper Clan forums. And there's a few campaigns here that we might like. Uh, for example, one I do recommend would be uh, the Dungeon Skin Keepers campaign. Uh, we can have a look at this. So what we really to see is some um, download link. Uh, so we can download it here. Uh, open this. And we want to extract So for here, uh, what we're looking for is, if, if this is a campaign, we're looking for uh, a .cfg uh, and, and the map. So we'll extract this to uh, our KeeperFX folder and pop that in campaigns folder. Okay. So now we can see if we go to our campaigns folder, uh, we have our DAC21 and with that uh, a, a CFG, which is essentially the, the binder for the campaign. Okay, so now that should be ready to go. Don't just keep us 21 map campaign. We'll do another example. So you open this and what we have is some folders and we want to extract this to the campaigns folder uh, within your KeepitFX. So open your KeepitFX folder, campaigns, extract to the campaigns folder and this should be ready to go. Let's check. There we go.